In this video, we are going to see that how can we add a watermark into a Word document. So what is a watermark? Watermark basically signifies that any document belongs to a particular person and prevents its misuse or it is used to mark some things like confidentiality or handle with care, some kind of an important message that we want to convey to the reader. And not explicitly, you want to make sure that the reader reads it, whoever is reading that particular document. So it is generally done that the opacity of the text, which is to be used as a watermark is kept low and is placed on the behind of the actual text of the document, right? So let's see how do we add a watermark to, um, you know, prevent the misuse of our confidential documents or our own documents, which we have copyright over. So let's just see how do we do that in Word. For this, you need to go to the design tab. In the design tab, on the very right side, we have a group called page background that gives us this option of a watermark. Now, uh, in this option, there are some of the predefined things given to us by Microsoft Word. Like if you want to name the document as a confidential document, these are the five, uh, four options that you can use. If you want to convey to the reader that this is an urgent document, these are the four options that you can use ASAP, urgent, etc. But if you don't want any of these and you want a custom watermark, then what you need to do is you can just go to this custom watermark option that would allow you to create your own watermark, right? You can create either a picture watermark or a text watermark. The picture watermark can be with the help of your logo or any important company image that you want to be showcased which is usually a logo. If you go to the picture watermark, then you would be prompted to select a picture that could be either from your document or from a Bing image search as well, right? Let's just go to this image search and grab a random picture. Let me just grab the picture of this apple and insert it. Okay. Now, um, what is the scale that you want to keep? So let's just keep it as auto. Now, what will auto do? Let's just see click on OK. I'm keeping all the uh, options as default. Here you can see this is how Apple image is now occurring on the document. Like anyone who is reading this document would definitely see this image of Apple. Still, its opacity is so low that it does not hamper with the visibility of the actual text that's been written on the document. Now this Apple is not selectable. If you want to make changes to it, what you can do is just again go to this watermark. Go to remove watermark in case you want to remove it. If you don't, just press Ctrl C to bring it back. And let's just again go to custom watermark. And this is the existing watermark that's present. If you want to make any changes that you can do. Like I have set the scale to 100% and click on apply. So this is the same scale. Uh, this is actually the 100% scale that we are getting, right? So 50%, we can apply that. And this is how the image is looking. So basically scale is uh, the dimensions of the image. Now let's just remove the picture watermark and go to the text watermark. Okay. First of all, let's just remove this picture watermark and go to another custom watermark that is a text watermark. Now in this case, you can just select the text that you want, the font in which you want, the size in which you want. Okay. So suppose I want the text as sample document only okay and what is the font that you want let me just go with this one the size that you want let's just keep at auto otherwise you want a specific uh, size pointer that also you can select from this particular drop down okay or you can just simply type a size suppose i want it at 900 let's just keep it at 900 the color that you want and what is the layout like diagonal which would be something like this or horizontal which would be something like this let's just go with horizontal one click on apply so this is how it's looking if you just click on diagonal and apply it this is a diagonal format the size is really big let's just drop it down to 90 so that actually it's visible now this is how it's looking for diagonal this is how it's looking for horizontal okay you want to change the color like you want to remove the semi-transparent and you can click on uh, apply so this is how the semi-transparent condition has been removed like if you want to change the color to black so this is actually much more readable let's just go with diagonal and change the size to auto so size changing to auto would make sure that we are actually able to read the whole text 
at one go like it is not hampering with the visibility in any way so this is how the watermarks are created or are applied in a word document furthermore if you want to get some more watermarks so you can get them from office.com if you want to remove this particular watermark you can just remove this watermark using the remove watermark option if you again want to apply the watermark you can go to the custom watermark dialog box and make the changes as per your wish now let's just apply a predefined watermark maybe this do not copy one so this is how the do not copy watermark is applied let's just save the page to see how it looks once it's been saved let me just go to desktop and save it as a pdf okay so i guess it's saved and yes this is how it's looking this is the text and this is the watermark so this is how the document would be downloaded or saved and then you can share it to anyone you want so that's all for this video in which we learn how to watermark our documents and thanks for watching the video